Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another planning video. We are only three months into the year and already two planner changes have occurred and I don't know how long this will stick around. For all I know, you could never see this notebook again, but as of right now, here it is. <laughs> um, but before we get into this and talk about it a little bit more, let's backtrack and talk about where I have been. So I started out 2022 in an A6 Stalogy. It was just a bit cluttered, too small. It wasn't the right fit for me. So I moved into a two book combo with a Hobonichi Weeks for daily tasks and to do's and a Hobonichi Techo A6 for journaling. I have since learned I am not a journaler, so the A6 Techo <laughs> went out the window. And then my Hobonichi Weeks, right after I made my video about how much I loved that planning system, <laughs> I was finding myself to be a little bit frustrated with the size of the Hobonichi Weeks and the daily sections of that notebook. They are just so, so small. <laughs> and I was just getting a little bit frustrated with it and I really wanted to find something bigger. So I went to the interwebs and started looking at other ideas. And to be honest with you, I did not think I wanted to get back into a bullet journaling system until I saw Randy.plans here on YouTube. I will link her channel as well as her amazing Etsy shop down below because she's fantastic. But I watched her videos about her setup for her bullet journal for this year. And I got completely inspired. She has the most simplistic and beautiful bullet journal I think I've ever seen. It's just, it's like the perfect bullet journal for somebody who is not into doing the whole art thing in their notebook and that is that is me i subscribe to that <laughs> that group so um i watched her videos i fell in love with her notebook and i give full credit for my recreation of this notebook to randy because my bullet journal is basically a recreation of hers so i have literally the same notebook as her she has a black one but i have a pale yellow i just fell in love with this color i thought it was so cute and it is an a5 size i don't know if i mentioned that but it's also the grid paper that randy has in hers as well and i just really wanted to try this paper i was kind of bored of the dot grid and i wanted something that i could at least write and draw straight lines with so i decided to go with the grid and i am thoroughly enjoying this paper i really really like it and i like it a lot better than the dot grid to be honest with you but anyways let's go ahead and get started with my little flip through here because i have a lot to show you guys so flipping in we have my nameplate page haven't even written on this one yet and then i opted to do a little flip out with my grid guide of just showing how many squares horizontally and vertically and what it would take to divide my pages in half and then in quarters and then i also have a key this is like new to me because i again was inspired by randy and um, i'm enjoying my new key it just makes it a lot easier for me to see what i have and have not done or started and whatever so there's that and then i also have my table of contents this is the first pre-printed page in the notebook and there are only two of them i kind of feel like i might need more but that's okay i can add that in later um, and i've already started logging things in which i weirdly love to write in my table of contents but there's that also if you hear anything in the background i apologize but gangsters right behind me then we have my yearly cover page this is again extremely simple 2022 i was going to start my notebook in april i opted to start it in the second week of march so <laughs> i just left it then we have my ink test page i wanted to see how the zebra mild liners sharpie s notes and all of my tombow dual brush pens would work on this paper this paper is not a bright white color it is kind of a light creamy kind of color and seeing how these markers show up on this paper is good for future reference i also have an adulting page so this is just things like when was the last time i got my oil changed got new tires, got vaccines for the dogs, uh, went to the doctor for me, uh, refilled my wallflower, <laughs> you know, just like random things that I want to keep track of. I also have a cleaning tracker. I have it going this way so that I could fit April to the end of September. And these are all just things that I want to get done every single week. So just like, you know, cleaning the bathrooms and everything that that entails, the kitchen, the living room, upstairs, all that. 
I also have a perpetual packing list. This is something that I added into one of my notebooks, I wanna say middle of last year or something, and I love having it because this is basically just like a good baseline for everything that I'm gonna need for any trip that I could ever go on. And then based on the trip, I can kind of tailor, add and subtract things that I would need for that specific trip. But this is a good starting point. Then we get into March. I forgot to do a cover page. For March so I just went straight into the monthly calendar which this is very similar to what I was doing in my Hobonichi weeks it has the holidays it'll have birthdays and anniversaries when I have months that contain those it has vet appointments or any other kinds of appointments I might have I also have my YouTube upload schedule and like the videos that I'm going to be posting on those and then most importantly for me is I have my monthly bills and I have them broken down into what bills come out or need to be paid on specific days. And it just kind of helps me, you know, budget accordingly throughout the weeks and it just makes my life a whole lot easier. So this is what I'm using my monthly page for. And then I have my monthly dashboard. So I'm not entirely sure about this section right here. This is for content. It's kind of null and void because it's a bit redundant from having my YouTube videos on this page, but whatever, it is right there. Um, I also have my sub count, so what it was on the first of the month and then what it is on the last day of the month. And then over here I have just some like very surface level type goals. I also have a section for my book, so whatever book I'm reading for the month. So for March, I am reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and then I just have some space here to write down little blurbs about the book especially so I can recall things or recall feelings about the book as I talk about it in my TBR uh, videos that I post quarterly on my channel so I have that and then I also have a section for next month so any holidays birthdays travel appointments anything like that that's coming up in the next month goes right here next we have my weeklies so i'm actually currently in this week i am pre-filming this quite ahead but i am at what is today today is the 9th wednesday the 9th so this is what my weekly looks like i basically transferred the hobonichi week layout into this notebook which i i genuinely liked the hobonichi weeks layout it's just for the space that I had to write my daily tasks, it wasn't enough for me. So basically what I decided to do was the section where I have my days, so like Monday the 7th, I also have weather, and then I have just a couple of like main things that I did throughout the day or that happened that day, and then also a tiny little blurb, like one to three words about the day. So for example, yesterday was a super snowy and cold day, so I wrote that down and I, um, got a shipping notification about one of the packages I was waiting on and then I also ran errands with my husband So that's the kind of stuff I'm putting in there I also have expenses tracker package tracker and habit tracker as well as a little memory Section down here. I like to write at least one fun or funny memory between Brian and I in each week so I just put that right here and then going into the next weeks, I just wrote down things that I know are coming up. So like my YouTube posts, payday, um, St. Patrick's Day, first day of spring, my nail appointment, stuff like that. That's what I'm doing. So I'm actually not, until this week starts to come up, I'm not going to be filling in this part because I don't... I, I, I want to still have a little bit of fun with my layouts and my stickers and things like that. So that's my weeklies and then we get into my dailies it's basically a vertical layout that i have here and this could change obviously um but i have like monday so i have all of my tasks and to do's and then i have a little tiny blurb with a sticker of my choice for that day and i just really like how this is working for me it's giving me the ability to kind of like write a little bit about my day and then also have my tasks and to do's on there and have enough space to do it and if i don't have enough space to write a little blurb because i'm just that busy apparently then that's fine like i'm not too worried about having a blurb i would rather have more space for my tasks and to do's and similar to what i'm talking about like i 
thought that I was good and I had all of my tasks and to do's here and then I started writing out a little blurb and then I remembered that I had a couple of other things that I wanted to do today and so I just wrote it below and I'm just kind of like letting myself have that freedom and that flexibility with my notebook and if for some reason you know this were to go into this column that's fine I can kind of foresee when a day is gonna be that way um, I know that today is not going to be that way so I did put Thursday and then also I am combining Friday Saturday Sunday because those are the days that I work and getting tasks and to do's done on those days is very um, infrequent <laughs> for me so I just combined those three days and then I also have Monday here because I do like to pre-plan for each Monday because those are my days alone at home. Anyways, that is my current bullet journal setup. I hope that you guys don't feel like I'm throwing you guys around all over the place with my notebooks and what I keep deciding to use and then not use and blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I've, I'm currently doing. So we will see how long this lasts, but Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel below. Ring the little bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post, which is on Wednesdays. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!